Lots more to go. Get rid of the trash, throw it on the floor. Hope you're enjoying the video. If you love baseball cards back in the day like I have, it's been fun. I literally was watching uh, YouTube here a while back and I said, hey, what is your 1980s birthday, or birthday, baseball cards worth? And then I was like, oh my gosh, I have a bunch of these guys. So then I had to go and dig them out. And then here we are doing something fun like this. So gum card went to Roy Thomas, no loss there. So that's good. Wax card went to Alan Ashby, no loss there. Got a David Rigetti. Oh, there it is, right there. I don't have this card. This is awesome. Okay, so we have a Don Madeline 1986 Tops. It's his uh, fifth year in the league. Of course, his uh, rookie card was 83, I think, in the Yankees. So we have a Don Mattingly to go with his all-star card. It looks pretty good to me. Pretty good shapes all around the corners. This is a good card. This is a good find. There's a little bit of a bump on the top left-hand corner, but all in all, I think this could pop a PSA 8 or 9, 9.5 for sure. So we're going to put this into a sleeve. Get him taken care of. Love it. Don Magley, what a great player. Gonna slide him down in there. Wow, that's awesome. Love getting a Don Magley. Here we go. Who else do we have? Mickey Hatcher. Oh, another rookie card. So here we go. Let's see how I compare. Oh, and a Ricky Henderson. Holy cow. So we pulled a Don Mattingly, Ricky Henderson, and an Ozzy Guillen so far. Haven't even got through the rest of the deck yet on this one package right here. How cool is that? So let's look here. I have a Ricky Henderson card. Or where's it at? It's over here somewhere. I have a Ricky Henderson card. And I have two Ozzy Guillens. So we're going to be comparing the Ozzy Guillens and the other Ricky Henderson. So let's see. So let's put the Mattingly down. Let's do, let's do uh, Guillen first. So this one here, pretty, pretty well central. Okay, so this one has like something on. Oh, that was a, that was a piece of dust. Sorry. So this is actually very comparable. Both cards, all great corners. Back looks very similar, very good. I'm lucky here. That one, that one's a match. So that was definitely very, very good pull here. Let's see the other one. Wow. I mean, what's a what's a perfect 10 or gem mint 10 Ozzy Guillen rookie card 1986 tops worth? Because I have three of them. I have three of them, in my opinion, but I'm not a grader, but still. Let's get this guy protected. Now we're gonna look at R Ricky Henderson. Another great choice card in the 86 top set. I think, oh gosh, I think it's because it was his first year with the Yankees. Wow, put that one there. Put these two guys back over here on this pile. And then we're gonna grab the Ricky Henderson. Be very careful and see what we improve. Oh my gosh, lots of improvement here. You ready? Here it comes. So the one that I had, look at the centering and now look at the centering that I have. It's night and day. You can totally see it. This is like a, maybe a 80, 20. And I think we have closer to a, maybe even 50, 50. Holy cow, that is a major improvement to my 1986 tops, Ricky Henderson, coming from a pack that I'm opening up, a box break, that I picked up recently at the flea market. And oh, man, that's a great, that's a great deal right there. I mean, for wax packs, junk wax, back in the 80s, where they don't bring a lot of money, to find one in that greatest shape, that is so cool. Again, here's the original, or here's the one that I had. Here's the one that I just pulled. Oh, get that centered in there a little bit better. Almost wish I had a one-touch pack for this one. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna leave you like that for a second. Um, look at this. Look at these two compared. This is the one I just pulled. This is the one that I had. You see the difference? Major difference. That's really cool. I'm gonna put that one back over here. Lay this one over here to my, my good pile. And let's hopefully see what else we can find. We've so far pulled a Ricky, a Guillen, Isaac Guillen, and a Dom Madeline out of this one package right here that's cool we have more to go though i think it's like the first three or four cards cal ripken are you kidding me 
So we just pulled the Cal Ripken out of the same package? Are you joking? Hold on, hold on. I'm just going to put this. The Cal Ripken, all these guys just get automatic entry. I don't have a Cal Ripken. I have nothing to compare this to. I do not have a 1986 Topps Cal Ripken. That is amazing. I haven't even gone through the entire package yet, and I've already pulled four choice cards. How cool is that? Oh my gosh. All right, here we go. Push, push it down, push it down. Here we go. Here we go. So, so far out of this one package, we have these four cards that were pulled. An Ozzy Guillen rookie card, a Don Mattingly, a Ricky Henderson, and a Cal Ripken. And we're not even all the way through the package. Let's look at Cal just for a second. So, oh man. guys, come on. Look at the corners. Look, look, look close. Tell me that's not going to go PSA 10. Look how centered this card is. I'm going to flip it over. That's got to be a PSA 10. It just has to. All right, what else do we have? I haven't gone through the entire deck yet, the entire cards yet. Here we go. Whitey Herzog. Mike Schmidt! Are you kidding me? I'm not making this up. This is live. This is a live video. A live video that I'm doing right now. I'm not going to look at the rest yet. And then we pop a Mike Schmidt. So, so far out of this one package, are you kidding me? I cannot wait to, make, I cannot wait to edit this down and actually make this part of the video into like a Instagram reel. This is truly live. I'm, there's no cuts here. This is not, no splicing. I pulled one package and I just pulled these Five cards. These five, oh, light move. These five. I'm so excited. These five cards. Mike Schmidt, which is another choice card from the 1986 tops. Now he is a little off center, barely, maybe what, 60 40. A little mint mark here on the top of the eye, just a tad. But still, yeah, he's pretty off center on the back too. So this one's pretty off center, but still, Mike Schmidt. A Cal Ripken in great shape, no off-centering at all that I can tell from the naked eye. Maybe just a tad on the sides. Then we pull the Ricky Henderson, and we pull the Dom Mattingly, and an Ozzie Guillen, all from the same pack, and I'm not even through the entire pack yet. All these cards came from one pack of an un unopened box of 1986 Tops, And still... I'm still going to be unveiling to you later what I found today for $30 at a flea market. Tops traded 1986. Holy cow. This is crazy. All right, here we go. We're not even done yet. We're not even through the entire pack yet. Bobby Brown. Randy St. Clair. George Brett! No! No! This did not happen. It has happened. It did happen. Are you kidding me? It did happen. We just pulled this many amazing players and amazing cards out of one package of a 1986 Topps baseball wax pack. Are you kidding me? You talk about, if I would have been back in the day, I'm gonna do this again. I've done it already, I'm gonna do it again. George Brett, Ozzy Guillen, Dom Mattingly, Ricky Henderson, Cal Ripken and Mike Schmidt, all from one package of a 1986 Tops live video right here for you. If you're watching or not watching, I don't care. This is amazing finds right here out of this one package of 1986 Tops. Are you kidding me? They're not all perfect. Some of them are. George Brett, let's look. Where's my other George Brett? I have another 1986 George Brett. Where did he go? I've been moving my cards around tonight. Here we go. This is my current 1986 George Brett. So centering is pretty much the same. Top looks the same. Corners are amazing. Oh my gosh, they're like crisp. There's no white on either one of these two. The backs, this is the one that I had, the one that I just pulled. It's perfect. Both these cards are perfect. Holy cow. I cannot believe I just pulled one, two, three, four, five, Six choice cards out of one, one, one 
wax pack of 1986 tops. Unbelievable. Holy cow. And we have uh, several packages to go. I, did I, I went through everything, right? Okay, I gotta get these piled up. Yep, I went through all of them. Oh my gosh. Six choice cards out of one wax pack. 